numbers. And today we're talking about gross profit. We're going to explain what gross profit is, and we're going to help you understand why it's important. I'm going to give you two reasons why it's really important for you to understand what your gross profit is. So gross profit, what is gross profit? What's the difference between gross profit and net profit? Oftentimes business owners get a little bit confused. Maybe they're watching Dragon's Den and they hear the dragons put their pens down and ask, what is your gross profit? And you scratch your head thinking, well, do you know what? I don't know the difference between gross profit and net profit. I'm glad I'm not standing there. Well, I'm going to give you a reason other than not being afraid of the dragons for understanding your gross profit. And I'm going to explain to you what your gross profit is. So what exactly is your gross profit? What is your gross profit margin? Well, it's quite straightforward, really. The formula is for gross profit is sales minus costs. So your sales minus your cost of goods sold. So whatever it costs you to deliver your service. So in this simple example here, we've got a product which we're selling for £100, but it cost us £70 to produce. So that could be £70 in raw materials. It could be £70 in raw materials plus labour. It could just be £70 in terms of our professional time that we're giving to our customer. The cost of goods sold is £70. We're selling it for £100. So therefore, our gross profit, which is a really important number, is our sales minus our costs. Sales minus our cost of goods sold. That's our gross profit. So in this instance, our gross profit would be a £100 sale minus our cost of goods sale, our cost of sales. That gives us a £30 profit. That makes sense. So the gross profit in this business in, for this particular product we're selling, these widgets we're selling is £30, okay? We would like to um, express that as a percentage. So our, it's called our gross margin. Our gross margin percentage, then what we do is we take our gross profit, which is £30, and we divide it by our sales, and that gives us our gross margin percentage. Really important number to know, but I'll explain why in a minute. So in this instance, our profit is £30. We divide it by £100, which is our sale price, which means we've got a 30% gross margin in this product. Now, it's really important for you to know your gross profit and to know your gross margin percentage for a couple of reasons. One, it helps you to keep your cash. And secondly, it helps you to make more cash. Let's talk about make, keep, keeping our cash or making more cash. It's like, let's start with making more cash, actually, and making sure we're making the right amount of money. You see, the question is, what is the average gross margin in your industry? Do you know what it is? You can find out by looking at other people's accounts on the, the Inland Revenue website. You can go to your industry body or maybe a newsletter that's produced by your industry body and understand what the average gross margin is across all of the, the businesses within your industry or in your sector. Where are you placed? Are you charging the right price? You see, knowing your gross margin and knowing what your gross margin should be will help you to charge the right price for your products. You may find, lo and behold, that your, your instance, your industry average is 30%. But you're only making a 20% gross margin. That gives you the opportunity to make 50% more gross profits. That makes sense. So you're underpricing yourself, underpricing your services in what you do. So that's the first reason for understanding your gross margin. The second reason is to, is to help you to keep your cash. So let's just think, look at a scenario. Oftentimes, discounting is viewed as something that I have to do, that everybody does within our industry. So therefore, if a customer asks me for a discount, I give them a discount. Really important this, okay? Discounting kills your business. It's a death spiral. And I'm gonna explain why, okay? So let's say your customer, it could be a long-standing customer that you've had for a long period of time. They come to you, they wanna buy a product off you, or it could be a new customer and you really wanna get them over the line. And they say, yeah, I'll buy it, uh, Jeff, but uh, give me a 10% discount. And you think, 10% discount? Yeah, I, I get the sale um, for a 10% discount. I'll do that. It doesn't sound like a lot of money, but isn't it? Let's have a look at numbers. In this instance, if this business owner were to give a 10% discount, what they'd be doing is wiping out one of these 10 pounds here. This is 100 pounds here altogether. And here's your 30% gross margin that you're making within your business. So to give a 10% discount, you're actually wiping out. Can you see that? You're wiping out one third of your profit. You're working out 33% of your profit. So whatever, you're in business to make profit, aren't we? Yeah, so whatever profit you you desire to make, you're wiping out 33% of it. Let me ask you this, actually. When you got your accounts at the end of the year, how would you like to take whatever it was, whatever profit you had, and reduce it by a third? Would you do that? Well, no, that'd be bonkers, wouldn't it? But that's what we're doing. In this instance, if you've got a 30% margin and we give away a 10% discount, we're wiping out 33% of our profit. So let's work out the new gross profit margin that this business has. Um, what they've done is they've discounted the price to 90 pounds, 
okay? And they're now left with a £20 profit. So therefore, the gross margin, you follow me so far, yeah? The gross margin here would be £20, which is our gross profit, divided by our new sale price of £90. We come out with a 22% gross margin. We slashed it from 30% to 22%. Just by dint of giving somebody what we thought was a small discount, a 10% discount for no reason whatsoever. I'm going to tell you why in a minute, how actually and you can get around this thing of offering a discount to your customers. Um, there's another reason why you don't want to do that. You don't want to discount, give this discount because now I have to sell so much more product. I have to, this, this 10 pound is half of this 20 pound that's left, isn't it? So in other words, I have to sell half as much product again, rather than making Nine, uh, 90 pounds of sales. I now need to make 135 pounds of sales to get my 30 pound profit. I need to make 135 pounds of sales. The reason being that my gross margin is now only 22 percent. So 22 percent of 135 would be 30 pounds. So I have to sell more product to make my 30 pounds. Selling more product often means that I've got to spend more time making the stuff. I've got to employ more people to make the stuff. I may have to buy more raw, raw, more raw materials and store more raw materials. Um, it could even be that I have to in, increase my cost and buy some more plant and equipment. Or my delivery costs go up because I'm delivering more of this product to the customers. Does that make sense? I could, having to spend to, to get £135 of sales rather than £90 or what it should have been £100 worth of sales, I may now have to employ some more people and more fixed expenses, more admin staff or another salesperson. So key lesson here, know your gross margin, know your gross profit, stop discounting. Discounting wipes out your profitability. So can we see the understandings of knowing our gross profit? I'm going to give you a little bit of homework on this, actually. And this is the third point. This is a bonus point, actually, I'm going to give you, okay? Um, what I want you to do is to go away and work out what your gross profit is, what your gross margin percentage is, not just across the business, but across all the products and services that you sell. You see, what you're going to find out when you do that is you're going to find that there are some products and services that you're selling loads of, which have a very low gross margin, which are taking up a lot of your time to sell and which are difficult to sell or difficult to make to, for your customers. Then you'll find other products and services that have got a very high gross margin, which you're not selling any of at all. You're not selling much of it at all. And it's easy to sell and easy to make. You're in for a few surprises when you do that. So that's your, your homework. Go and find out what your gross margin is across all the products and services you sell. And I'd love to know, get in contact with me and let me know which ones uh, are working best for you. So if you got value from this, I'm going to ask you to like, thumbs up, and share this video with anybody else in your community. So not, not only you benefit, but other business owners benefit from these valuable business tips which we're giving you, which are designed to help you make more money in your business. Or should I put it another way, keep more cash in your business, which makes your life easier, doesn't it, at the end of the day. And if you've got any questions, if you want to touch base with me and find out a little bit more how I can help you to generate more cash in your business, feel free to get in contact. I'll see you on our next video. Take care.